Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are Lalita Loca, and this is Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, Season 2, Episode 2. Welcome back, folks, to the channel. If you are new here and you are into cruising, cruise vlogs, cruise news, and original cruise shows like Cruise Wars, consider subscribing to the La Lido Loca channel with the notification bell on and you will get notified for all of our new videos. We are back for Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, season two, episode two. Look, we're already changing up the format. It was really cool in episode one. We liked it, but uh, at the same time, it's really just about a boy and his bowl okay uh no fancy <laughs> razzmatazz no uh no future past present we're just going to put topics in the bowl we're going to draw out two and we're going to argue it's going to throw down in funky town oh really yeah now what we do is we have a little bit of a mock debate it's kind of funny we'll be rude to each other just know that during the debate section it may not be how we actually feel so make sure you stay to the end and you hear our true opinion and make sure you form your own opinion and let us know in the comments how you feel about these topics now we have uh, scoured the earth far and wide to come up with some topics to put in the bowl and we have five so jenny you've got a few i got a few do you want to tell the people what the topics are tonight absolutely the first one, should there be a burlesque show or a mail review on the cruise ship? Burlesque or mail review on the cruise ship? Hmm. My first one, should you save your towel animals? Should you try and cram yourself in an elevator? Should the cruise lines make it impossible for people to go overboard? Should cruise lines charge corkage fee for wine that you bring on the ship yourself? Hmm. All right, five topics in the bowl. We're gonna give it a quick mix. I'm gonna draw out a topic and we're gonna roll a 20-sided die to decide whether I'm for or against it. Here we go. Topic number one. Should you save your towel animals? I'm gonna roll this big blue 20-sided die. One through 10, yes, you should save your towel animals. 11 through 20, you should not. 17, I'm going to argue that you should not save your towel animals. Okay. Yes. Are you ready, Tony? Yes. All right. Let me put the minute on the clock. Your time starts now. Look, of course you should not save your towel animals. Cruise cabins are small enough as it is, and now you have to daintily move around some sort of wombat that's hanging from the ceiling, some sort of Yoda that's over in the corner, some sort of puppy with sunglasses. If you touch the thing, it's going to fall apart anyways. And guess what? Towels are made for drying. They're not made for artwork. I don't understand why we make these folks that we already are having service our room learn this dumb towel origami. All the people out there that like it are just suckers. Uh, they, they could be getting something much better. Bring back the pillow chocolates, for goodness sake, and quit making these people do extra work. It's ridiculous. As soon as I see the towel animal, I break it down, I hang it up on the towel rack, and I use it when I take a shower. Oh, everybody loves it. I see people that put them up, they, they decorate their whole room with it. It's a towel, people. Go to the art auction, buy yourself a piece of art if you want to hang something on the wall, and leave the towels for the bathroom. It's ridiculous. Okay. Hashtag kill the towels. All right, That's Jenny, lame. you have to argue why you should save the towel animal for the duration of your cruise. That's right. Are you ready? Yes. One minute on the clock. Okay. Your time starts now. So, your cabin steward takes the time when they're cleaning your room and getting it ready for you to come back to enjoy, to make some towel animal to make you smile and make you happy, why would you want to destroy that? You want to take your pictures and put them on Instagram and Facebook and all over social media and give people a ray of sunshine, something to smile about. It's so nice to come back to the cabin and, oh, let's go see what the cabin steward made us tonight. And it's pretty cool if you go back there and there's a heart or there's a monkey or there's a dog. Come on, it's so cute. Why would you not want to keep them and then pile them up and take your pictures and the farm animals can have friends? I mean, come on, save your towel animals. They're cute, they give you a smile, and it shows your cabin steward that you respect the knowledge that they have to make it for you. Your time is up, Jenny. I'm done, anyway. Your time is up. 
All right, folks. Tal animals, no tal animals. We are not going to solve this here. We are not. What do you think? Leave a comment below. But beyond that, who argued it better? Leave a hashtag Team Tony for me and a hashtag Team Jenny for Jenny. Now, I do want to mention that in Season 2, Episode 1, we mentioned some sort of prize. We haven't got the prize yet, but let me tell you, Jenny won Week 1 for the hashtag Team Jenny. Woohoo! Thank you guys. Hashtag Team Jenny. I think that may be why I did not go out and procure the prize because I, I think I, that's probably why. I knew I wasn't going to win it. So he didn't want if you me really want to see what the prize is that I have in mind, you're going to have to up your Team Tony game. It's kind of making me mad. Oh my goodness. You know I argued it better. But how about this week? Hashtag Team Tony. Hashtag Team Jenny. Let's keep it rolling. All right, Jenny, it's your turn to choose your topic for this week out of the bowl. Okay. Let's hashtag see. Team Tony. Don't listen to him. Should cruise lines make it impossible for people to go overboard? Wow. Okay. So I have a 12, so I'm against that? You're against the cruise lines go making it impossible for people to go overboard. Okay. All right, Jenny, you will be arguing why cruise lines should not go out of their way to make it where people won't fall overboard. And basically we're talking about should they you know, enclose balconies and put up plexiglass and that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, one minute on the clock. Your time starts now. Listen, it is a super sad thing when somebody does go overboard. It does happen here and there. But, you know, if, I'm, if I have a balcony, I don't want plexiglass on it. I want to have that fresh air. I want to be able to just breathe it all in, take it all in. I don't want to have to look behind plexiglass that I watch a hockey game with. Mm. You know, it becomes, over time, it'll become weathered, you know, with scratches and the salt. And, you know, pretty soon you won't be able to see through it. Um, no, I don't think that it should be, you know, a bubble-proof ship. Not at all. I yield back my time. All right. I am going to argue why the ship should go out of its way to make it impossible for people to fall overboard. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Yes, of course, the ship, you know, look, all kidding aside, it is super sad when somebody goes overboard, uh, whether they uh, willfully go overboard, whether they accidentally go overboard. And I think that the cruise line should seriously consider methods to make it harder to go overboard on a cruise ship. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to see everything completely, you know, plexiglassed up or all balconies enclosed, but maybe we raise it a little higher. Maybe, maybe you make it to where you can't climb up and over it. I don't know how you do it. That's going to take some sort of engineering, but right now the system that's in place, uh, it, it is possible for people to climb on the outside of the ship and fall. It is possible for people to climb overboard and jump. And uh, I, think, I think the cruise lines, and, and I'm sure they are, I think they need to take a look and say, well, what can we do to deter these things? And if it's higher walls, if it's a little more enclosure, then I think it might be worth it. Now, I know that, that it doesn't happen often, and that does seem like... Mm. Hashtag Team Jenny, I'm just saying. What do you guys say? Look, we're not going to solve this one. We're not. This one's a tough one. We're not going to solve this one. What do you think? Hashtag Team Tony or Hashtag Team Jenny or just leave your comment below. Now is the time that we tell you how we actually feel about these two topics tonight. The first topic was, should you save your towel animals? If you want to, I think you should. Yeah. I, I don't see any reason not to. Um, towel animals are fun. I've seen some pretty heated debates on it. Uh, I almost wish that they could ask. They're cute, but again, I'll, I'll hold to the thing that I don't necessarily need to have one. Um, I think they're super cute. Uh, you know, if you're not going to save your towel animal, I mean... On the Oasis, it was super stressful. We had the, that dog that you loved. Yeah, he was so cute. Anytime, ruff, I, had, ruff, anytime I had to ruff, do anything... Tony, ruff. I was afraid I was going to dismember the dog. Je Jenny's giving me the stink eye, like, make sure the dog doesn't come apart. It was a lot of stress. I mean, they're cute. Take a picture. If they come apart, maybe I shouldn't have been so... Uh... Yeah, me, you can't do anything to... I wish I had that on film. The second question, <laughs> should cruise lines attempt to make it to where people can't go overboard? Well, listen, if they can do that and you still have the same experience, why not? Yeah, I mean, I don't think they can enclose the balconies. 
I, I guess they could put the rails up higher. I'm, I'm sure they're working on ways to minimize that. Again, it's it's not uh, the percentage wise, it's not a lot, but man, it's tragic every time that it happens. Every time. And so I'm sure they're thinking about better ways to deal when people go overboard. But I, I think it would really hurt the industry if all of a sudden there were no balconies. So I can't see that change happening. No. Uh, but hopefully something comes that'll make it. Uh, easier to save somebody that's gone overboard or something to deter people from going overboard. Right. All right, guys. Well, how did you stack up? Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Team Jenny. Hashtag Team Tony. Leave it in the comments below. And while you're doing stuff, come on over to Facebook to the La Lita Loca Cruising community. Join the Loca fam and jump in the conversation over there. And uh, follow us on all of our social medias. Uh, who won Cruise Wars this week? I know the answer is simple. Yeah. It's Team Tony. And again... Well, and on Instagram, I'd like to see a hashtag Team Jenny go viral. Really? Yeah. Are you? Okay, well... Let's do that. Look out for the Instagram post. <laughs> go slap a Team Tony on that thing, too. Uh, again, my name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time... Team Jenny, we'll see you on the Lita. We'll see you on the Lita. Bye. Bye.